For centuries, scientists have been studying particles and science on the nanometer scale. However, the true potential of nanotechnology applications has not been fully realized until recent years with the development of microscopes able to view particles as small as atoms. Nanotechnology is an emerging field with unlimited applications in transportation, communication, electronics, fabrics, and even medicine and cancer treatment. Nanotechnology has the potential to affect virtually everything you can see right now. We are looking at the capability of magnetic nanoparticles to produce heat when they are exposed to alternating magnetic field. And that's, that shows the type of material we are working with. This is a magnetic fluid. Nanoparticles are fine particles of matter ranging in size in the nanometer scale. These particles are very small but has a wide variety of uses. The particles shown are so small that you could fit 100,000 of them on a single human hair. So the fluid consists of nanometer sized magnetic particles such as iron oxide. They are very tiny, about 10 nanometer in size. And they are suspended in the, in the liquid such as carrier um, mineral oil can be also be water and see how responsive are they to the magnetic field. Cancer is a disease that can affect all parts of the human body and is the leading cause of death worldwide. Cancer forms malignant tumors from unhealthy cells that divide and gr grow uncontrollably. Because cancer cells are very sensitive to heat much more sensitive than, than healthy cells. For example, when cancer tumors are exposed to slightly larger temperatures, say about 42 degrees Celsius, they can be damaged a lot more rapidly than healthy cells because they have different chemistry, they have different need for oxygen, so they can be easily damaged by heat. And one way to treat cancer, an emerging way to treat cancer, is using this type of materials, magnetic nanoparticles. So the idea is to take this part, this this type of solution, inject it in a tumor, and then subject the patient the patient to an alternating magnetic field, and they produce heat that damages the tumor, and the cancer gets into remission. These nanoparticles, consisting of mostly iron and other ferrous materials, are injected into the target area, the cancerous tumor. Once these particles are in the body, a magnet outside the body switches polarity very quickly, causing the particles to spin. This, in turn, creates heat within the nanoparticles. The cancer cells are more sensitive to heat than healthy cells, so the heat in nanoparticles destroy the cancer cells, but not the healthy ones. Well, the particle kind of flip, it, flip continuously to follow the polarity of the field. And that flipping process produces heat. The, uh, the other method explored is functionalizing these particles, putting some molecules on the particle surface that have receptors or that can you know, go and recognize receptors on, on cancer cell surface and then just inject it intravenously and just wait for for the particle to find its way to the cells of interest. Traditional cancer treatments, such as chemo and radiation therapy, may break down other parts of the body while in the process of attempting to target cancer cells. Another option to treating cancer, surgery, has dangerous risks and has the potential for harmful side effects. Can actually, uh, it can respond to relatively high frequency of the magnetic field. They, the, the heat is produced at um, about 250 kilohertz, which is good because the body doesn't absorb radiation at that high frequency. Treating cancer using these magnetic nanoparticles has its advantages. One is that the particles are not toxic. 
because iron is commonly used in your body. Two, they can be combined with other drugs to be activated once in the target area. And finally, they can also be used to image tumors because the particles are very similar to that of contrasting agents in MRIs. If researchers can effectively use the potential of iron nanoparticles to specifically target and destroy cancer cells, the world of cancer research may be changed forever.